Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do the problem we did on the previous video again, but with a different method. Remember the answer we got? The amount of work done to empty the semi-spherical tank that has a radius of 5 meters was going to be 8,000, no, 8 million, just slightly over 8 million joules, 8.02 times 10 to the 6 joules. But we could also do it as follows. The work done to move all the water out of that tank is equal to the mass of the water times g times the distance we have to move from the center of mass of that water in the tank to the top. So what we need to do is find the center of mass, which is probably a little bit closer to the bottom than to the top. So let's say it's about right there. We need to find this distance right here, y center mass, and after we find this distance here, then it becomes really easy to find the work done to empty out the tank. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's do the easy part. Let's calculate the mass of the water in the tank. And we know that the mass is simply equal to the density times the volume. And since it's a semi-sphere, that would be equal to the density times half of the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And of course, we can simplify that a little bit. So the mass is equal to the density times 2 thirds pi r cubed. So now we already know g, mass. Now we need to find the distance to the center mass from the top to the center mass. Okay, how is that done? Again, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little slice and we're going to say that the distance to the center mass, that's this distance right here, so let's call that, let's see, what should we call that? How about just center mass distance in the y direction is equal to the integral of all the dm's multiplied times the distance to that dm, so that would be y tilde as we call it, divided by the sum of all the mass. Now this of course gives you the mass of the semisphere, the water in the semisphere, which we already know. Now we have to solve for the numerator. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 5 of dm and dm of a slice. Okay, so the way we find that is we find the dv like we did in the previous video, which is equal to this. And now dm is equal to the density times dv, which is equal to the density times pi times 25 minus y squared dy. So this is simply the density times the volume, and the volume is defined as the cross-sectional area times the height. The cross-sectional area is pi r squared dy. Instead of writing x squared, since we know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, we can then write, well, 25 minus y squared, or simply, let's just keep it as r squared minus y squared. Let's write this as r squared minus y squared, and then let's make our limits from 0 to r instead of to 5. We'll do it in a more general sense. All right, so now we're able to multiply the dm, which is that, so density pi times r squared minus y squared dy, multiply times the distance from the bottom to that, because the center mass is right inside the slice, so multiply times y, and divide this by the mass, which we know is going to be 2 thirds times the density times pi times r cubed. Well, notice that we can already cancel out the densities and the pi's and divide by 2 thirds the same as multiplying times 3 halves. And uh, let's see here. So this becomes equal to, and the limits are from 0 to r, of r squared y minus y cubed. I'm multiplying this y times the two terms in here, times dy. We can integrate that from 0 to r and divide that by what we have left, which is 2 thirds r cubed. Okay, now let's go ahead and integrate that. This is equal to r squared y squared over 2 minus y to the fourth over 4 evaluate it from 0 to r, and then divide that by 2 thirds r cubed. When plug in the lower limit, we get nothing, because 0 here just gives us 0. Plug in the upper limit, we get the following. 
we get r squared times r squared, which is r to the fourth divided by two minus r to the fourth divided by four. And the whole thing divided by two thirds, r cubed. So r, r to the fourth divided by two minus r to the fourth divided by four is r to the fourth divided by four, divided by two thirds r cubed. Notice that the r cubed goes into r fourth just r times. And we have one over four divided by two thirds, which is gonna be three over eight. This is the distance from the base of that semispherical tank to the center mass. That's this distance right here. We call that CMY. That's this distance here, CMY. What we want is we want YCM, which is five minus that distance. So we can say that YCM, the distance from the center mass to the top, is going to be equal to the total five minus what we found here, which is three over eight R. And that's what goes in here. So now we're ready to find the work done and hopefully we'll get the exact same answer as before. So now we know that the work done is equal to the mass of the water times G times the distance we have to lift the water from the center mass to the top of the tank. So the mass we know is going to be, let's see, I'll just write down the equation. So MG times YCM. That's equal to the mass, which is two thirds times the density times pi times R cubed. Multiply that times G, and then multiply that times YCM. Now YCM we found to be five minus three over eight R. Now remember that in this case, R, the radius of the tank is equal to five meters. So we could actually replace everything, every R by five. And so if we replace this by five, we have five minus three eighths times five, which is five eighths, five, which is 15 eighths. So we can say that this is equal to two thirds times the density times pi times R cubed, which is 125, that's five to the third power, times G, 9.8, so here we have five, three eighths five, times five, or five minus three eighths five, which is five eighths five. Five times five is 25 over eight. 25 over eight. Okay, now we're ready to find the answer. So two divided by three times the density, which is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter, times pi, times 125, times 9.8, times 25 divided by eight equals, and yes, we get the same result of 8.02 times 10 to the six joules, or just over eight million joules to empty the tank by pumping all the water out the top. So here, it's a different method. The way we did it was to find the center of mass, which is right here, and then realizing that if we take all the mass of the water in the tank and lift it from the center mass to the top, using this equation right here, we can find the exact same result. And that's how it's done.